Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video obviously by the title you know it's another sew-in and I did my braid pattern by myself and I prepared the weaves and I just put everything on my head I just want to show you the clips and what I did every time I do a new one I try to show in a different way and I show different stuff so today basically I'm gonna concentrate on how I sew in this five by five um lace closure if that's not the correct name i'm going to put it here guys so um is a wide um lace closure it's uh, i started it from here here and you know to this side so it's wide quite wide and deep like you can see and i put some coils it on in the center of my head but because i wanted a deep side part you know so yeah that's what i did i started from this side the link to this hair is down in the description box don't forget to check it out it's affordable hair quality good hair like you can see i washed it already and i put some curls inside everything is nice beautiful let me bring it close to you to see you see how nice i put some nice waves oh bossy wait now the quality is amazing and i'm filming this in the night guys this video is at night so <laughs> i'm using light and yeah so uh, uh, honestly this hair looks better in the daylight don't need to talk too much guys you're going to see everything in this video if there's anything that i didn't include in this video and you think i should have included please let me know in the comment section and guys if you are watching me for the very first time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you are highly welcome and thank you very much for my returning subscriber i really appreciate you guys i really 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 do appreciate all right so guys make sure you like this video and make sure you share this video with your friends and see you in my next one bye all right guys so i'm gonna keep my braid pattern very simple so i'm doing like all back kind of braid and um try to do my uh, my um corn roll smaller this time around so i'm using um uh, station hair you know to make it look firm you can use any one you have i'm using the one my hand just grabbed because this is one of the leftover hair i recently braided so yeah, this is what it looks like when um when i finished just simple all going back and i tucked in the back I made it into one plait and yeah this is what it looks like all right people so this hair is from elfin hair and this is their brazilian body wave it came in this box everything that you need to know about this hair is in the description and the link to this particular hair is also in the description so when you buy this hair it comes with extra gifts um i have this white uh, brush that i absolutely love it's so 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 good very nice good quality and i have this beautiful um eyelashes then this is what the um lace um closure looks like it's wide it's a five by five um lace closure and i have four bundles to sew on my hair and each of the bundles came in um 18 inches for two bundles and 20 inches for the other set of bundles um so my lace closure is 16 so don't forget to use code chide to order this hair um so for you to get discounts so uh, i'm going to go ahead and show you what i did afterwards so i went ahead and washed the hair i made sure i washed them i conditioned them and allowed them to uh, dry on the towel and when it was dry enough i picked i picked up the five by five closure and i did a little bit of customization in the front which is optional the hair actually looks nice as it is 
but i just wanted to just you know remove some hair in the front to give it a more na uh, natural look so uh, of course you, you're going to be using some products so uh, in this video i used um mousse i used the olive oil mousse if that's not the name i'm going to put it down in the description box then i use my um iron comb to make sure that i flatten the hair because you know when most um um when most lace uh, closure comes you know they go in certain direction so you have to customize it to fit what you want to do so that's what i'm doing here okay right i'm back and yeah showing you my braid pattern again all right so yeah this is what it looks like if you're joining us <laughs> okay so i'm gonna just use a wig cap this time because i want to do a bad cap you don't have to do this but i just want to try this method today Alright, so now that I have put my cap, I'm going to use thread. I'm using needle and thread, black thread, and a curved needle to sew around the my braid and cut off the excess uh, lace um, on the wig cap that I place on my hair. Alright, so because I'm going for a side part, I'm not going to place this lace in the middle of my uh, head. So I'm going to put it on the side, the um, one side very close to my ear. And yeah, and I've cut a little bit of the lace off so that uh, it doesn't cover my eyes so that I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, and so I use something to hold it down. And then I begin to use my curve needle and I am sewing on my first braid that is the closest to my ear so what i'm doing is making sure that i sew this firmly and guys if you are sewing down um your lace you don't have to sew from the very beginning you have to give some space so depending on how you want yours but it's actually nice to leave space before you start sewing like one cm or one and a half cm so that that part that's when you're going to use like glue to lay it down because there, there's no how you're going to sew everything on your hair and it will be flat especially if it is a wide um lace closure like this five by five so now i've sewn on this side i'm going to just stop there grab another needle 
I don't know, my camera was just like messing around here. So grab another needle and then I start sewing on the next available braid that is closed. And doing this, I need to stretch the, the lace from the other end so that it can be flat. So you can see that I'm dragging from uh, the side. You can see what I'm doing. I'm sewing, but I'm giving it a little bit of space so that I, I can drag and make it look firm. Some people use rubber bands or let's say elastic band. I don't know if that's what it's called. You know, to hold it down. I've tried that before. I have a video of that. If you want to see it, I can put a link. But this works perfectly well for me. So I'm sewing that down, you know, and uh, I continue sewing. And when I make sure that it's firm and I've got the two sides right, I'll, then I'll go back to my first needle, uh, the one close to my ear, and then I start going around. So I make sure that I have enough space at the back to accommodate the lace. So now I stop over there now and I'm going to the other side and I start sewing down. So basically this video is about how I sew down this 5x5 five five, um, lace closure. Uh, sewing in the tracks, you guys already know how to do that. But if you don't understand um, everything I explained here, you can let me know in the comment section and I can, you know, do more video or like give, um, talk about it or like reply your comments. And please, if you are watching this video to this moment, please do like this video and share with your friends. And so, yeah, when I finished sewing down on this side, I went ahead and grabbed the other needle. Because honestly, you will need two sides um, to sew from two sides to get it right. So now I went over the other side and I started bringing it to close it up. And you see how nice it closed. As you are going, if you feel that there is space, uh, in the lace just uh, pull it a little and it will cover up because um, the lace is stretchy and it's really nice Alright guys, you can see how flat the sewing went. So I'm going to the front now and apply some got to be glue to, you know, put the lace down. You can use any kind of glue that works for you, but I like this one. And what this does, this is like, if you want to remove this hair, it's not hard. The glue is not bad for my edges. I can uh, I apply water and I can remove it. So after I secure the front like this, I'm going to cut the excess lace. In the font i'm going to just go ahead and just trim it and just cut it to fit my you know my hairline you know that's what i'll be doing basically so you just keep doing the this and then i went ahead and sew uh the middle down but honestly i lost that clip but um yeah i i just sew around the front but i lost the clip so i make sure that everything is down and blended with then I'm going to you know, tie this down for it to dry and I allow some minutes to pass by then I pull it all and I started sewing the tracks at the back but since this video is not about sewing the tracks at the back so this is what it looks like after it's a little bit dry which is not bad so yeah I'm going to everything look kind of messy now but guys it's not messy at all so I'm starting with the longest of my bundles 20 inches and I started putting them at the back um, guys I didn't show everything about this part because I didn't want this video to be too long and so yeah like I said if you want to see how I sew down my tracks please just drop me a comment in the comment section so that I know what to film about sewing in my uh, next video or any video related like this so yeah guys, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just sewing through my braids, through the um, wig cap and through um, under the weft. I didn't go through the weft, to under the weft and I secure the hair to my braids and it's firm. 
and yeah so and these days i enjoy using cup needle i used to be so uh nervous using cup needles but these days i think i'm uh, getting more confident using it and yeah well in this video i use both cup needle and straight needle so but when it comes to where my eyes cannot actually see i prefer to use the cup needle so guys let me know what you think in the comment section drop me a nice comment i'll be really really happy and i'll be there to answer all your questions so this is what i did i continue sewing like that until i close all the uh tracks and guys i'm sewing on my braid not on my on my scalp on my braid because my braid is tiny so and i can i use my hand to feel it and i sew through it that's what i'm doing <laughs> Alright, so now I'm creating the parts and I make sure I use my hand dryer to, you know, uh, create these parts. I'm gonna use it on my uh, rat tail comb and I'm plucking on the line to give it a natural look. Alright, so I use a curling wand and I put these gorgeous curls. Um, you can skip this part, you can straighten your hair, you can give it a more wavy part, but I just wanted it to be curly and I really, really love the result. So guys, don't tell me that this is not beautiful. <laughs> this is really nice. I'm so proud to do this and yeah guys and I'm so happy to share with you guys and I hope you guys appreciate this and yeah so show me appreciation in the comment section. Did you see how nice it blended? Honestly I love 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 this. Thanks so much guys for watching this video until my next one and don't forget to check the description box for this hair details. Bye!